Hi, in this video I'm going to talk just about dealing with vectors in one dimension, one-dimensional vectors only. We know that vectors have a magnitude in a direction, um, and one-dimensional vectors are just go going to be vectors that are all pointing either parallel to each other or anti-parallel to each other. So same direction or opposite direction, they all point along a line. And luckily, since there are only two directions, we have a nice mathematical way of talking about one-dimensional vectors. We choose one direction to be positive, then the other direction is the negative direction. That lets us use our regular arithmetic rules with positive and negative numbers to add multiple vectors together. So let's do an example of, uh, let's look at some vectors in one dimension. Here's our example. We have a red train that travels north at 15 meters per second. The blue train on parallel tracks travels in the opposite direction at 6 meters per second. So down below I'm actually just going to write out the magnitude and direction of these vectors with words and with uh, and with uh, positive and negative sign. And we can choose one or the other. Either words to represent direction or plus and minus if we're working in one direction. So I'm going to say that the uh, the north direction is positive. So north is positive, south is negative, and I'm just going to indicate that there so we know which direction is positive and negative. Uh, so our red, our red train travels north at 15 meters per second, so the velocity of the red train is 15 meters per second to the north. Since we said north is positive though, we would just write that as plus 15 meters per second. We don't have to write north if we use positive or negative. Same with the blue train. Since it's going south, it's going in the negative direction, and it's going at 6 meters per second, so the magnitude is 6 meters per second, and the direction is south, that's how we write it with words. Or with just numbers, we would do negative 6 meters per second. And we can also represent these vectors on essentially a number line, um, uh, where, the mag where the length of the vector arrow is going to represent the magnitude of the vector and the direction is the direction. I already have a number line here, so I, and I also have the vectors drawn out just for ease, so I'm going to just move these vectors onto the number line. We'll see that their magnitude is proportional to their length and the direction is the direction. Our red train points to the, in the positive direction with a magnitude of 15 meters per second. A red vector, that is, that represents the red train. And our blue vector points in the negative direction uh, with a length of 6 meters per second. So it, if starting at the origin, it ends at negative 6 meters per second. And that's basically how we deal with one-dimensional vectors, at least at their most very basic. Positive for one direction, negative for another direction. Bye.